Good morning, Wolfpack. I'm Sterling Waday. And I'm Noah C. Today is Wednesday, February 16th, and we're here with your morning announcements. Attention all club advisors. Yearbook will be taking club photos at the end of this month, February 24th, 28th, and March 2nd from 3.30 to 4.30 p.m. Club presidents must sign up for a time slot using the spreadsheet emailed to all leaders. Please be on time dressed in your club shirt with a piece of paper with your first and last names written in Sharpie. The Black History Month bookmark contest has been extended to next Tuesday, February 22nd. Stop by the library for an entry form or visit the library website to download one. Now let's pass it on over to Ashley and Paul for your In the News update. Good morning, I'm Ashley Borton. And I'm Paul Vargas and we're here with your In the News update. 15-year-old Russian skater Kamila Valieva was found taking three different drugs yesterday during the Winter Olympic Beijing Games. One of these drugs include trimethazine, which is able to help prevent a type of chest pain that reduces blood flow to the heart. In turn, this drug increases blood flow and helps improve endurance. This drug was banned from the Olympics since 2014. Her lawyers argue there was a contamination with her grandfather's heart medication. As of now, she is still allowed to compete, and while she is under investigation, the ceremony for the medals has been postponed. 21-year-old Shakari Richardson, a United States Olympic track and field athlete, was found taking marijuana during the Summer Olympics. In response to the current situation at hand, she states how, can I get a solid answer on the difference of her situation and mine's? She asked on Twitter. She goes on to write how, the only difference I see is I'm a black young lady. In COVID-19 news, cases declined by 19% worldwide and deaths stabilized in the past week, according to the World Health Organization. This drop isn't equal among all regions. Places like Eastern Europe cases almost doubled due to the Omicron variant, while in regions like Southeast Asia, there is almost a drop of 37% of cases. In the United States, infection rates dropped from the peak of 800,000 infections per day nationwide in January to currently 175,000 infections per day, according to the CDC. This has led many state leaders to announce plans to remove mask mandates in California, Delaware, Illinois, and many other states who plan to end mask mandates around late February to early March. In other news, Remington becomes the first gunmaker held liable for a mass shooting after a $73 million settlement with Sandy Hook families. Remington agreed to settle a liability lawsuit brought by the families of Sandy Hook victims, which marks the first time a gun manufacturer has been held liable for a mass shooting. In local news, a new hospital is taking place of the Freight Train Arena, a former home of the Sacramento Kings. The Sacramento City Council, in a unanimous decision, approved of the project yesterday. This hospital will be te a teaching hospital and would be a part of the California North State University Medical School. Despite it being an educational hospital, it will also be a fully functional medical hospital and is believed to help the economy by providing 6,000 jobs. Well, that's all we have for you in the news update. I'm Ashley Borton. And I'm Paul Vargas. Back to the anchors. Hype's annual showcase night at the movies hits the stage February 18th and 19th at 7 p.m. in the PAC. Night at the movies showcases student choreography in various styles from hip hop to contemporary and jazz. Scan the QR code shown to purchase pre-sale tickets. Premium seats are $12 and general admission seats are $10. Get your tickets fast because pre-sale tickets will end at 4 p.m. this Friday. Only a limited number of tickets will be available at the door for $15. BSU is holding Black History and Pop Culture Trivia in front of the Leadership Room during both lunches today. Stop by for a chance to win some candy. Speaking of BSU, let's check out some more Black History Month fun facts. Hey Wolfpack, I'm Maya. And I'm Micah. And these are your Black History Facts of the Day. Sojourner Truth was an abolitionist and a women's rights activist. Sojourner was born into slavery yet escaped at a young age. After she devoted her life to making a difference, she is best known for her most famous speech, Ain't I a Woman? which she delivered in 1851 at the Ohio Women's Rights Convention. ASB officer applications are out. This is your opportunity to run for senior class governor, junior class governor, sophomore governor, ASB president, ASB vice president, ASB secretary, and ASB treasurer. These positions are filled by the student body. As long as you meet the requirements, you are able to run for office. 
If you are interested in running for office, check out the Synergy email sent out by Ms. Henderson. Applications are due this Friday, February 18th. This week is Kindness Week. Look out for fun games during both lunches and don't miss hype and K-pop performances. Don't forget to try and earn kindness cash from your teachers, which can be redeemed for spin the wheel prizes this Friday. Congrats to Sempar Stewart, who has been selected to receive a $25 gift card to a store or restaurant of their choice. You will be contacted at some point this week so you can let us know what gift card you want and if, and if an opportunity to earn a gift card, all you have to do is have no tardies for a week. In addition, six gift cards will be given out to six students from the class with the least amount of tardies. Currently, the seniors are winning. Let's get our attendance up, Wolfpack. Well, that's all we have for you today, Wolfpack. I'm Sterling Lede. And I'm Noah Seed. And remember, the strength of the pack is the wolf. And the strength of the wolf is the pack. Happy, Happy do, do a, a grouch of favor day, day Wolfpack. Wolf pack.